15th century, deep in the chambers of a dark castle, lived the legendary Duke George of Ferrara. He had family pride, wealth, and power. In the world of royalty, the power to possess everything becomes an obsession. But what happens when the Duke chooses never to stoop? This is how the legend begins. Deception and death. Cursed by confidence. Cursed by joy. Cursed by Ladies and gentlemen, you I address. Our story is a legend not often told. Uh, before we commence, I must confess, the Duke of Ferrara is a man of power and gold, a character too obsessive, too obscure. For his jealousy, there is no cure. Take note of his last duchess. The astounding Anne Marie. Be warned, there were others before her, and their stories you shall also see. Hence, be prepared, dearest lady and good sir. There is much to follow, there is bound to occur.
The lady do not scream so. I cannot stand my name being called so hard. As for your question, I was attending to some business. Some business? I insist that you tell me of what kind. I was being groomed. I suppose there is no crime in that. And why were you engaging in such an activity? Well, this explains Lady Olivia's recurring visits to our castle, all of which are without prior notice that she would promise. That is no business of yours. Be wise, my lady. I am the Duke of Ferrara. Excuse me, sir. I demand an explanation. You must be aware to whom you're speaking, for I... Are you? Are you aware of the honor that I have bestowed upon you? For you, Duchess Catherine, carry my gift of a 900-year-old name. Need I explain more? You. Do you not know what I shall do to your head if my dinner is as bad as yesterday's? The old cook cannot prepare anything edible. For your sake, I shall cook it better today. Yes, yes, Your Grace. The food will hopefully leave you today. I shall bring it immediately. City boy name. I am the Duke of Ferrara. Do you understand? Do I understand? Of course I understand. But George, you understand what I'm feeling? Like I'm the same feeling. I'm feeling that I'm feeling that way. That only if you feel like feeling times, I want you to get that same feeling that feels like a feeling could be. Enough. George, you know you love me. And you always find a way to hear me. After all, nobody can be as lively as me. Now, now, do not frown like that. It's no fun at all. I know. Why don't you tell me about your great ancestors, that respectable noble family of yours? Oh, how I wish to have met them. Well, you ought to be attentive, for I am not to be interrupted again. You are a blessed lady, for I gave you my gift of a 900-year-old name. My family goes back for a thousand years. The most fierce was my great-grandfather, Lucas Tinkley. Lucas Tinkley! Oh, George is much finer. Oh, you're delightful when you're mad. Me? Delightful? Do you not know who I am? I do know. I do the great grandson of Pembus Tinkle. <laughs> Please understand near that view. It seems quite extraordinary. Come, dear sir. Beautiful, beautiful day. And the sky, oh, the sky. My eyes see nothing appeal. Look at that <laughs> singing bird. Doesn't it remind you of her old chambermaid? Oh, Richie, you chopped her wings off that silly unfortunate woman. And also George. Have I not ordered you to stop saying that name? It is unfit for a do. Do not call me Georgie. But it's a sweet name. Listen, Georgie, 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 Georgie. George.
birds do need to have their wings jump. <laughs> Shall I dare ask what's under this cloth? That's my last question, man. Looking as if she were alive. I told that to be so long now. Rappendorf's hands painted. Sir, look at the depth and the passion of her glance. How did such a striking glance come onto her face? Sir, it was not her husband's present soul that called that spot of joy to the Duchess' cheek. She had a heart, well, too soon made glad, too easily impressed. It was as if she ran my gift of a 900 year old name with anybody's gift. Oh, sir, she smiled, no doubt, whenever I passed her. But who passed without much the same smile?
How splendid. So I'll see you at dinner time. Farewell, my lady. Thank you. 